Hello people, uh, I wanted to show you the BMC64 emulator that I installed to a Raspberry Pi uh, which I'm using for the Pi 1541 emulator. So I'm changing the SD cards to use uh, the Raspberry Pi as a BMC64 emulator. This is a case that I created for the Pi 1541. Uh, that I 3D printed and painted it uh, to make a, a 1541 feel on the object. So uh, also this Raspberry Pi has P1541 hat on it. Also I uh, created cables as a parallel from the uh, GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi to use these connectors for the BMC64 emulator because these connectors are used to connect uh, the real 64 joysticks uh, on the emulator. So uh, uh, I will be using uh, this Raspberry Pi for the two purposes like for the emulator, uh, for the uh, like vacations or something and also for the uh, Pi 1541 emulator to use on my real 64. So let's connect uh, the emulator to the uh, 1084 monitor here. I will be uh, connect this uh, USB cable to the power bank which is 1A power supply. So after connecting in a few seconds the uh, screen comes up. Uh, this is the real deal of this emulator because uh, you you don't need to shut down or install anything or open up anything. Just powering up uh, makes the emulator work. Uh, better to make these power ups uh, when uh, the emulator not accessing the SD card of of course. But it's the uh, generates the real uh, C64 experience here. Uh, also, I have a, a Logitech uh, USB dongle inside the uh, Raspberry Pi to use my uh, keyboard for the emulator. This keyboard supports uh, more than uh, one. Uh, dongles so I'm using two for accessing the emulator menu by F12 and you can see the menu here also I connected my Firepad 64 uh, joystick replacement product uh, for the uh, joystick ports of the uh, BMC 64. Uh, these are also 3D printed uh, basic buttons that I created for uh, to use uh, to play games in uh, arrow key uh, layout. But uh, for this emulator, you don't need that because uh, you can use your keyboard as a joystick by selecting from the menu. Let's Play with Firepad this time, and also I will load a snapshot to show you the smooth scrolling of this emulator. Because uh, from the analog output uh, of the Raspberry Pi, I connected to the 1084 monitor. Let me place the camera here and you can see the scrolling is very smooth let me start again it's a hard game I'm using autofire uh, feature of my keypad by the way. 
but you can see the scrolling is very smooth. Uh, it's the best deal of this emulator. Also, let me show you the uh, Batman game. You can see better uh, the scrolling. How smooth is the scrolling? Because no tearing apart on uh, the screen or latency on the uh, vertical sync. That's the best uh, emulator I uh, used for the Commodore 64. You can see the scrolling better on this game because textures are uh, moving very smooth. And this is the BMC64. So uh, you can connect Kira uh, from the uh, USB to use your uh, real uh, Commodore keyboard on this emulator to make it work with the uh, real uh, 64 case I suppose because you can put the Raspberry Pi inside it and with the Kira and uh, the rest you can use your real 64 as uh, an emulator by using the real keyboards and real uh, joystick ports uh, by using by placing a Raspberry Pi as an electronic device inside the case thanks for watching